Good kitten internet. Uh, this is episode two of my Let's Play of Might Magic 7. As per my previous Let's Play, it's time to go a bit off the rails for what we're supposed to do. So we're going to kill a dragon in this episode. Completely serious. I am going to go kill the dragon on Emerald Isle. Uh, for those of you that have played Might Magic 7, you'd know that the dragon on Emerald Isle is a looked a little easier than normal, and there's a good reason for that. Um, basically, it's a normal red dragon with no resistances whatsoever, unlike normal ones that have fire resistance and other fun resistances. So, in theory, everything I have should help. And that's why I'm here at the Initiate Guild of Fire, because there's a specific spell that I want from here. Here it is, it's Fire Aura. So what Fire Aura does is that it's in, it enchants an unenchanted weapon, specifically with a fire ability. This is a new spell in Might Magic 7, and it can enchant any unenchanted weapon, even the crap that I have. So this is totally worth picking up. So I'm going to. Um, the rest of these are not worth picking up right now. And I could pick up learning, but... I'm not going to have that much money left, so I'm a little concerned about that. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to check Body Magic Guild. Guild of the body Mostly because I can't remember what's here. So heal is what I have now. You'll notice that heal, the crappy Body Magic skill, is the same as Cure Wounds from before, only it's also healing more, and the Expert ability allows you to heal other people. This is a way better healing spell than the previous game. It's still not great, but... You know, it honestly only costs two spell points. Um, harm... Mm, probably not worth picking up. Meditation might be, but eh, oh well. Uh, spirit magic, I don't think there's anything in spirit magic that I can pick up that I care about. Detect life, turn undead, faint. Faint could actually be useful. Sure, I'll pick up Fate and actually get Spirit Magic. I think... And I'm going to double check with this really fast. <clears throat> Plus 11 to hit. Plus 11 to hit. Okay, that was not worth picking up. Um, probably done. I'm just going to go pick up Sparks. To the air guild. Maybe. There it is. Pick up Sparks. And I can have two characters learn learning. Oh, one character learn learning. I can have a second one learning learning if I drop this. By the way, something I forgot to mention in the last video, and I'm sure somebody in the comments may have already noticed, is that I picked up a club. Clubs are weapons that, like in Might Magic 6, they're kind of crappy weapons. But in this game, they're bugged. You see, here, let me show you. So, with the sword, I am doing plus 11 to hit and 12 to 21 points of damage. My recovery times 91. If I use the club, I'm doing 13-15 points of damage, same attack bonus, but my recovery time is 30. I am literally hitting four times as often. The reason for that is that they screwed up in making this game and forgot that clubs existed. So as a result, this club is probably the best weapon I can pick up for a long time. So that's what I'm going to use for a while. I'm just going to sell the sword, pick up another uh, learning. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any better bows, which is what I was really trying to go for, but sell that. Now I can afford learning one more time. Learning. Ah, crap. Oh well, I won't bother picking up learning then. 
Okay, so here's the deal. I'm gonna heal up as much as I can because dragons are not easy to deal with. Then I'm gonna cast Fire Aura on everybody's bows. At my level, it's going to last for one hour, which should be long enough for it to actually be useful at least. So basically allowing me to do a slight amount more damage. And now we run. And I do mean run. So I should add that I picked up another NPC. It's a squire. Squires add a two point bonus to weapon and armor skill. They're usually not the type of NPC I would pick up. But in this case, I'm going to need every bit of help I can get. So, remember the opening with the dragon? This is where the dragon lives. It's the dragon's lair. So, here's the dragon. This is also my favorite battle music in the game. I didn't bother casting Wizard Eye because it's not worth it. Um, the pedestal outside cast fire resistance on me. So I have 70 fire resistance. It's about the best I'm going to get without hiring an enchanter, which I thought about doing. Okay. So. This is technically what we need in here for the quest. So what you're supposed to do is run in, grab this, and run out. You'll notice that there's rats over here. Lightning rats also. Totally Pikachu. Um, the rats... Oh, I forgot to mention, I didn't bother changing the graphics. I did change the key bindings, so I would stop opening up the quick quest. Um, the rats are not really here to attack me. They will, but the dragon's going to attack them first. What the rats are really here for is a distraction. What we're here to do is to kill this damn dragon. Oh, this is not good. I'm not hitting the dragon. I don't have bless, do I? No, I don't. See how little I've been doing damage? I have to get this red dragon's hit points all the way down. And I'm not hitting broadside dragon right now, and that's not a good sign. Okay, which of these technically do more damage? This is one to three. This is three to four. Yeah, that does more damage. So I am still going to be hit by dragons, or hit by rats, but Honestly, the rats don't do that much damage. So what I'm trying to do is to make sure I'm close to the dragon, but not so close as to be hit by it first. Okay, I am now hitting it, so that's good. Ah, crap. It's looking straight at me, and most of the rats are already dead. Okay, it's hit another rat. Looks like I've got three more turns until I need to start going in turn-based mode. Or it's coming after me now. Ow. Yep, it's coming after me now. Okay. Time to leave turn-based mode. Alright. You're a wand of fire. Okay, that's good to know. So, what I'm actually doing here, by the way, is running around looting things while I'm waiting. Ow. Oh, I got next to the dragon. Oh, 
Okay, now it's just me and the dragon. That actually makes things easier, believe it or not. Because now I can do things like that. So this is the way you fight a dragon. It's very time consuming. Because look how little damage I do. And I have to go in real time mode to fight it. I almost thought about grabbing a cartographer just so I can see my attacks. How am I doing? See, I am damaging it. I'm just not doing much. Okay, I need to rearrange things a bit. There's a longbow I need, by the way. There was the second one in there. I don't care about that. Um, gauntlets. I have some use for this. Ooh, stealing skill. Nice. That's not going to be useful because I already have better gauntlets. I don't have a repair item at all, so we're just gonna have to deal without. We're going to switch things up a bit and start using wands, because this is the one time in the game wands are actually useful. Ow. Oops, I took a hit. One hit did that much damage to me. See, the Wanda Fireball is actually really handy here. I'm actually doing a lot of damage this way. See? Doo -doo 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 -doo. This is why this episode's pretty much probably just going to be fighting the Red Dragon. Now, where this becomes dangerous is when the red dragon drops into red, because then its pattern changes. Oh, and I can totally kill the red dragon without using the wands. have done it many times. Oops. As I aim in the wrong spot. But it's a lot easier to do it with the wand. Did not want to double speed that. What I wanted to do was hit the quick save. There. How am I doing? Uh, in yellow, okay. Oops, that was not what I wanted to do. Can I already use up the wand? The wand of fire, that is not the wand of... Uh, nope, I've got 19 charges left, I'm fine. So the reason why I healed my cleric a little bit is so she hopefully won't die. All right, now... Now it's danger time. This is where I normally end up dying at when I do this. Notice it's no longer attacking me. Because it's actually running. But if I attack it, it will attack back. So I need to make sure I stay the hell away from it. Got it. All right. That took me 14 minutes? Really? Huh. I mean, the first time I did this, which was without the wand, it took me a literal hour to do this. 
So we're going to abuse this a little bit. And I am going to guarantee that I will get something useful out of this loot. So this is an amulet. This amulet's garbage. We're going to loot until I get something not garbage. Two-handed axe. Wait. Garbage. That's not even enchanted. So you can, in fact, multi-loot this as just what happened. Two wands. Can't wait to use this. <laughs> nice wands, but no. Reagent. Garbage. Blade armor, hat, relic. Can't wait to use this. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Pretty sure I'm going to be keeping this. Ooh. I don't even have plate mail skill yet. Ooh. That's a really nice hat. And that's a relic I can actually use. So I'm gonna save this. I mean, her armor class is now a negative number, probably. No, it's zero. She literally dropped her armor to zero. Oh, it actually can't go below zero. That's interesting. I never knew that. I've never had Anya selfing this early. So you'll notice that there's not the same type of theme that there was before. Anya selfing, Master Smith created it after her, after his only daughter, calling it his second best creation ever. I, the lore on these relics are just awesome. Anyway. Um, yes. This is now yours. This is now yours. So I'm not going to abuse the multi-loot. Although I just accidentally looted it twice again, didn't I? ID item skill? Uh, maybe I'm going to actually abuse it a little bit because that's a garbage item for me. Let's at least get something useful out of that. A helm. That's actually useful. But we'll go with that. So you can totally equip yourself in this game with all of those items. Um, I actually have somewhere on my website a screenshot of every single artifact in the game after me just multi-looting that to death. Because I wanted to know what they all were. Anyway, we've got that done. And I wanted to try stealing from these guys. So I'm going to do that now. Let's run a bit. Whee! Wrong way. I should just look at the mini-map, it's easier. All right, looting in here. Oh yeah, he doesn't actually go after you anymore, which is kind of funny. Hey there. Because you don't have the hat on you. Anyway, what I want to do is actually try to steal the stupid thing. I don't even know if it's possible to get my stealing skill high enough. Because technically, I'm, we're done with this island now. Otherwise, I'm just going to kill him. Three more tries. Two. One. Zero. Well, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this the right way. Boom! Ha 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 ha. How am I missing? Seriously? I have a plus 31 to hit. Come on! Oh, looks like I finished up the fireball wand, and that's fine. I, can't I used it for what I needed to use it for. Besides, these are actually decent. See, now I got the longbow. This is worthless. That longbow is definitely not worthless. But um, the reason why I wanted to grab both is so I would keep one. Just waiting for the trap.
Oh, I still have the wand in my hand. I don't need to use that wand anymore. Also, I need to repair my armor. I keep forgetting. Uh, well, I can get plate mail later. And that's it. I have finished up Emerald Island. It's the last time we'll be here. I'm completely serious. You actually can't return to here. It is not possible for you to leave this place outside of completing the quest because the NPCs that would normally allow you to travel do not spawn here. It's a really weird situation. In theory, you can get the Red Dragon to drop a spell book that would allow you to learn Town Portal, except that you can't have the skill for it. So that's not going to happen. Uh, yeah, no, it's not actually possible to leave the island. Oh, I meant to get rid of the squire before looting. Oh, well. I don't particularly want the squire. So, yeah. Um, I'm sorry, Chandra. Bye! Okay. Let's finish up this quest. Alright, that's all six items. Missing contestants. Get another thousand gold. Congratulations! You are the new Lords of Harmondale. Isn't it thrilling? You can't imagine how good it feels of me to give this property away to you. All the benefits and rewards, and of course the responsibilities of governing the town of Harmondale are now yours. Lord Markham produces a deed and contract. Just sign here and here, and if I can just have your initials here. Yes, well, that's it. You're all set, and once again, congratulations! Well, the ship that will take you to your fiefdom awaits in the harbor. My entourage and I will be taking a different ship out. Just board whenever you're ready. So, we are done. For the only time in the game, we have a completely blank quest log. It is not possible to get any more quests. The docent has left our employ. All the peasants now say congratulations, and we can level up. Oh boy, can we level up. So you'll notice that our reputation is now the sunnier side of neutral. Need some training? So, let's prove the whole calendar thing. Today is Wednesday, January 17th. Oh. I actually can't level up any further. Oh well. That's right. What do you teach? Bodybuilding and Arms Master. Not worth it. Mm, Armor Smith, I think, can teach repair item, right? Maybe? You want? No. I can learn shield. Anyway. I'm going to start selling some things. Yeah, you can tell that they did a really bad job with positioning on weapons. It doesn't even look like it's attached to her back. Um, shield, I can equip. I'm going to keep that. That's cell bait, that's cell bait. That. Yeah, I'll just consider it cell bait. Oops. I accidentally right clicked off the side of the screen. First day upon reaching Emerald Island, a strange man named Melwick approached us. His offer seemed strange as a wand for future considerations. We turned him down as he left and headed toward the northeastern area of the island. He laughed and yelled that he knew he would never see us again. So basically, the Mr. Melwick guy sent him off to the dragon. Which is not nice of him. It's almost as though he's not a nice guy. Huh, imagine that. Anyway, let's go ahead and learn shield. Um, yeah, who can master shield? Screw it, I'll give it to the cleric. That's right, clerics can master shield. Right? Please tell me I'm right. I'm right! Hooray! Really, as long as you can expert shield and can't wield another weapon, you're fine. Alright, and... Definitely keeping the armor. I guess I'll keep the fairy dust of stupidity. I'm selling things before I leave, basically, because this place is going to be a better sell than anywhere else right now. Sell the gauntlets. Sell the two crappy bows. And dagger. Thanks. 
I'm not going to bother repair and paying money to repair my leather armor because I'm just going to find somebody who will let me. Uh, which we call it? Um, buy plate mail and then move armor around. Welcome. All right. I think I can have. Well, you need to learn learning. You notice that the skill cost is down. It's because of reputation impacts your uh, costs for things. I think I'm just going to have everybody learn learning. It's going to make me a little poor, but I can deal with that. I'd rather have everybody learn learning. Go up to the magic item shop. Can I help you with anything? Ah, I can learn repair item here. Okay. Well, you might as well learn that. It's actually not that bad. Uh, so, yeah, this is worth the same amount of money both with one charge and with infinite charges. Actually, it's worth the same amount at zero charges if you happen to pick one up that way. It's a glitch in the game. And awaken scroll now. Okay. Thanks. Come okay. again. Come again. Merchant. Scholar. Oh, um, learning and uh, which one call it? Um, teachers and scholars do stack in this game. Oh, one last thing I want to do before leaving. I want to murder everybody on the island. The easiest way to do that is to wizard eye, walk over here, and get some darkened flies. Just one or two. We're gonna lure him this way. Ow! 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 Ah, what a scratch! Notice that the random helpers are actually trying to run away. See, I'm not very nice in this game. They also don't have very many hit points. Not everybody's going to end up dying, though. It's a shame. I think Alicia actually has something on her body too. This won't stop me. She also has more hit points than the average peasant. Ow. Ow. Nope, Ow. she doesn't. It's Sally that has something on her body, that's what it is. Anyway, these two are actually enough to kill almost every single peasant. I just need to avoid... Yep, now there are people up there are also dying. See, the game will actually start dealing with people on their own. Without you being nearby. It's incredible. Uh, sadly, it did not kill off a guard. Most unfortunate. But you can loot all of the townspeople. That's the important part, right? <laughs> this is ridiculous. So yeah, this tends to happen and I mean, don't feel too bad about these peasants. I mean, they're idiots. Oh, looks like the knights are actually doing a halfway decent job at defending themselves. Anyway, I actually just wanted to do that out of 
sheer boredom. And also to see if any of these people actually had halfway decent stuff on them. Grab my hour of power and seeing what Brent has on him. Because I'm gonna murder Brent. It's really hard to kill him too. Has a hat, a wealthy hat. So that's how you would get the other healthy, wealthy hat. Anyway, nothing bad's happened to this town. What are you talking about? So let's go ahead and leave Emerald Island. We still have a half an hour. Also, um, the capitalization rule doesn't fully follow here for some reason, like these kegs. I'm not sure what the keg capital K is for. There's The anvil is actually a special item. It requires perception and luck. Anyway, we're going to sail off. Welcome aboard! Ahoy, matey. I be William Darvies, the captain of this vessel. Congratulations, my friend. Your new castle is located in Harmondale, a peaceful village on the edge of the Elvish Kingdom. Peaceful, right. Within human territory. Doesn't that look like a great castle? To being the lord of this estate, there are many responsibilities. That video is a lie. Public safety, for example. Those doors do not look like that. Goblins have taken an interest in your new land. I'm sure brave adventurers such as yourselves will have no trouble with them. So, in <sighs> so, home, may you rule your lands wisely. So, we are the lords of Harmondale. This is Harmondale. Don't cause trouble. Guards will always say don't cause trouble. It's weird. So, this is your trusty butler. Ah, the new lords. Please excuse the condition of the castle. It's been a while since anyone has taken proper care of it. I would have agreed to greet you indoors, but for were the goblins. A small tribe of them has moved inside. I asked them to leave, but they won't listen to me. They were quite rude, as a matter of fact. Perhaps you could... talk to them? I'll be in On the House Tavern here in Harmondale should you manage to convince them to leave. I fear that talking will fail with these goblins, my lords. May I suggest violence? So, this is what the front door of Harmondale Castle looks like. It's not even held on. So, that whole contest thing, it was to get rid of a dump. And you can actually go talk to Lord Markham again. He's the Lord of Tatalia. And he'll tell you that, you know, no take backsies and so on. So, let's just take a glance at the map again. And let me zoom in a bit. Harmondale is in the middle of everything. This right here is Harmondale. So we're in the middle of everything. It's actually a very strategic location. And as time goes on in the game, oops, this will become more and more of a happening place to be. So we are on the first set of quests. So like in Might Magic 6, where the first set of quests were the council quests, this first set of quests are door quests, basically. Namely, you need to repair this door. There's a bunch of quests involved. It's not quite like how it was in... Uh, Might Magic 6, where you have those quests and that's it. You have... So this is Mark Manor, where you can be promoted to Master Archer. But you meet, must become a Warrior Mage first. He's the second promotion for Archer. And Kedrick the Steady, who is Bow Grand Master. You'll notice that there's elves and humans living here. Uh, Harmondale has a very interesting history. Basically, it's been fought over for millennia, effectively. Spirit Guild membership, which I already have, and you're the spirit expert, okay. Um, again, it's been... Oh, that's right, I forgot. You actually get to remember where things are when it comes to... Experts. Wrong one. Auto notes. See? Since you learned where the master was, it's actually written in your notes now. Thank you, game. Um... Harmondale has basically been fought over for millennia, and they'll actually have some histories in here from the court historian Wendell Tweed. There's actually a lot in here. Um, 
So basically, nearly a thousand years ago, because I think it's 11... Yeah, it's 1168 right now. So more like 500 years ago. Um, the, the city was built by humans, got taken over by elves, and then bounced back and forth 13 times in the course of 150 years. And also, the town is known for just destroying the lords of Harmondale. Like, for instance, where they ripped him to pieces. And then the new lord lasted six weeks until the king marched on the area, then marched on the elves, then the castle returned to elvish control, and yeah, basically this place is a crap hole. So, um, the traditional room rulers of Harmondale are the rulers of Arathia, which would be um, King, King and or Queen Griffinheart. Right now it's Queen Griffinheart. And also the elves in Avli, which is... I can't remember his name now, but a king. It's currently under human rulership, but you can actually change that in this game. It's really interesting. They actually have ways of changing ownership in the game and nobody tells you about it which is hilarious anyway oh i don't have my skill points in body magic that was a mistake of mine i did merchant that's right ah uh, i should probably do repair item in body magic that's right i still need to finish leveling up i have so many things Greetings. good luck the last people who tried to clean up this place clean this place up went into castle harmondale and never came out and nobody expects you to last long. So this is basically the way everybody treats you. They assume you're not going to live. Also, the guards treat you like scum. But you have a quest. The Lantern of Light is a treasured holy relic used by the temples of Arathia. Its value is more symbolic than of power. Without it, temple servants lose faith. So he wants you to go to the Barrow Downs. Screw the Barrow Downs. That place is evil. You can learn your skills. The skills are generally consistent, although um, first area was a little bit less... Um, how do I want to say? Was more limited. Also, here's Town Hall. Current bounty hunt is a dwarven lieutenant. Yeah, screw that noise. I'm not going to be fighting them anytime soon. Trenton the Guide... Guard. Magic item shop. Dolores Space, the monk. There's a few names that have a space at the end of it for some reason. Can I help? Bank. Nobody cares about the bank. Except you'll actually have to use the bank from time to time in this game. I'm still looking for an NPC. Wither Smythe's home. He has expert staff. And leather expert. Wither Smythe. Repair item expert. ID item expert. Temper residence. Fire master. Along with the location of fire grandmaster. And a quest. Ah, my brother Elron was an avid Archimage player. Have you played Archimage yet? Horribly addicting game, if I do say so. It totally is. It's the mini game of this game. At any rate, uh, okay, I'm at 40 minutes. You sh can only play if you have a deck, and decks are hard to come by, so I guess you probably haven't. In any case, Elron wanted to go over some strategies to help him with more games. Unfortunately, he didn't want to be in town because he didn't want anyone else to spy on him, learn his tricks, uh, spy on him, learn his tricks. So he went to the White Cliff Cave southeast a bit from town. Elron hasn't been back in almost a week. I'm certain something horrible has happened to him, but if he's alive, I'd like to know that too. Would you do me the service of locating him? I don't have a lot of money to pay you back with, but I'd be greatly in your debt. This is actually the single most rewarding quest in the game. Because the quest reward is an Archimage deck, and Archimage is a great way of getting money. This is a manor. I would like to just point out that this is a manor. Okay. You have unarmed and dodging. Usually unarmed and dodging trainers are in the same place. All right, we've got our three horseshoes. There's always three in every stables in this game. And mushrooms. And herbs. Or roots, in this case. 
Roots are actually useful. Because I don't have much of anything. And that's actually it. The rest of them are kind of painted on. These are going to be sold. They're worth one gold each. It's not much. But I'm poor. So I'll take anything I can get. Anyway, uh, oh, there's the stone skin pillar here. Oop, got a little too close to some enemies. Uh, let's see. I've heard rumors that the shrine to the southeast of here can send you to the land of the giants. I've been to the shrine many times and never done anything special for me. Or is it that you can get here from the land of the giants? I wonder. So you know how in New Serpical there's a teleporter out to Dragon Sand? In Harmondale, there's a teleporter out to the Land of Giants, which is kind of the equivalent of Dragon Sand in this game. One problem, you have to go there from the Land of the Giants first, so it's not all that useful. At least not useful yet in the game. Later on, it will be very useful because the Land of the Giants is not an easy place to get to normally. You're a teacher. Teachers are pr pretty good. I'd like an instructor instead. Chaplain. Here's on the house. Davrick has a quest, though. My lords, I was beset by foul bandits when I returned from Avli, and they took everything I had brought with me from the elves. They even took my signet ring. Without it, I cannot continue my business, because I cannot seal contracts between myself and other merchants. I've heard the bandits base themselves in a camp in Arathia, but I'm no warrior. I'd not last a minute against them. Please go to Arathia and see this justice done. Which I will. I would love to play Archimage, but I can't. Um, just arm trap and perception. I will eventually pick up perception on everybody, but peasant smithy. I can learn chain here. I can't learn plate though. <sighs> I need to learn plate. I want to use my awesome, awesome armor. They actually have some nice items here, but. You should probably learn chain. Thanks a lot. Because I don't know if I'm going to have her with leather or chain yet. Um, I can learn dagger and mace and sword. Not useful. I want to learn things like spear. So this is the adept guild of fire. I have better fire magic. I should have saved first. Haste. Fire spike. Fire spike's a new spell. Um, this basically sets a trap for enemies. So if you're kiting enemies, this is actually uh, pretty good. It's fairly efficient, and you can drop a whole bunch of them all at once. Not necessarily all at once, but yeah. Um, but it requires you to be a master at fire magic, which I'm not. And I can't really use those spells anyway. Um, okay, there's a water guild here. You're... Yeah, that makes you poisoned. Okay. Couldn't remember if that one was poisoned or drunk. Anyway. Oh, who are you? Cook. Don't care. Initiate Guild of Water. Oh, right. I don't have membership yet. And you are plus two accuracy permanently. You're the Adept Guild of Body. You're Diana Dietrich. Hi. See, some of these actually have unique names and stuff. Which is not something that happened in previous games. I like that, actually. Do you have anything useful? Cure poison. Hammer hands. Please tell me you've got better than that. Because those are garbage spells. I mean, cure poison's gonna be... Ah, uh, there we go. That's more what I wanted to find. Regen! Which is almost all of my money. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that. So regen is how I end up healing in this game. I end up just casting the regeneration spell and keeping it on me at all times. Uh, regeneration and preservation are my go-to magic, basically. Uh, how's spirit magic going? Preservation, speaking of. Uh, basically, this stops you from dying. So it doesn't matter how many hit points you lose, you're just unconscious. Which is nice. Remove curse, which will be useful. And that's it. Anyway... So we've got a couple of quests, but I really want to hire somebody. Ooh, an arms master. Down here is the Guild of Earth. Uh, I also need to find 
Uh, you're a factor. A monk, you increase dodging, right? Unarmed and dodging, yeah. Those are really only useful if you have a party of monks. So, I've got a merchant. A merchant's not a bad character to have right now. Explorer, explorer. Um, I'm trying to remember what this town wall did. I don't know. Okay. So I'm thinking about grabbing either a factor, because I can't find a banker. Armor is terrible. Uh, or this merchant here. I'll take the merchant. That'll do for now. Okay. Let's go ahead and sell my alchemy ingredients. Can I help you with anything? I mean, I'm only going to get one for all of it, no matter what my merchant skill was, but... Come again. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Yeah, we can learn it. ID monster. I've got enough money to handle that. So, we're going to head out from here. So, um... Oh, darn it. I just realized I've had the map up this entire time. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Ah, poopy. That's a lot to go back through. I've had the map up for the past 10 minutes, haven't I? I don't want to reload that back that far. Oh. You know what? Screw it. Okay. Oop. Let's not hit the spell button. We're going to head out. So, these are goblins. Goblins are a lot stronger. I mean, they're still not powerful or anything, but they're a lot better than they used to be. Better's relative, I suppose. Won't stop me. Uh -oh. See, now you can see there are hit points and armor class because I have ID monster. So these are no longer theories, they are practice. Um, no, no, Poison Spray is probably fine. So the reason why goblins are nowhere near as big of pushovers as they used to be is that they all have bows. Oh, that was easy. They're still not hard, mind you. So, we're up here in this corner over here. Um, there's more to the town over here, which is actually where I'm going to go. And I kind of want to go to the White Cliff Caves, actually. But there's a lot of goblins in the way. This won't stop me. Keep in mind, I have stone skin up. That's the only reason why I'm not taking that much damage. Also, I don't have Ow! Day of the Gods anymore. This won't stop. You'll notice that I'm going to do a lot more overland travel in my Magic 7, and the reason being that I don't really have a choice. I almost replaced the Sorcerer this with an Archer, and I probably would have if it weren't for the fact that I really need one specific spell a bit later on. You know, I should actually use some of my skill increases. So I do have a plus five to bow right now, which is nice. I should probably make that bow into plus 11 arms master. Oh, right, I have something that's increasing arms master as well. Oh, the hat. Yeah. Um, I really need to make these into expert 
skills. I'm not even using swords right now, so I'm not going to bother throwing points into it. I'm not going to bother throwing points into leather armor, because she's going to be using plate. Learning, I can't throw any points into. It's not possible. So that means bow and arms master. Mm, let me take a look to see where my expert skills are. How's the upload going? 63% of the previous episode uploaded. That's good. Okay, so let's go for skills. Um, where are the teachers? Bow skill. Tularian Forest and Bricadia. There's no way in hell I'm getting to either one of those right now. I mean, Tularian Forest isn't that far away, but it's not Harmondale, basically. Um, what about Arms Master? Is our ma Arms Master any closer? Arms Master, Tatalia or Daya? Ugh. Those are some terrible places to go. Mm. Plate's gonna be much easier. Oh, well. um. I'm gonna increase bow. And then arms master. Dagger. Where's dagger at? Dagger is located in. Tularian Forest, Bricadia. Sounds like I'm gonna end up going to Tularian Forest. Um, leather armor? Is that here, by any chance? It is here! Okay. I'm probably just going to teach him expert leather. Um, you need body magic. Let's be real here. I fixed it. I've had it, I don't know why I didn't, but whatever. Um, you're probably never going to have a single rank in anything but magic for a long time. I mean, learning will come. And same with... Uh, I kind of do want to know ID Monster early, don't I? Mm, I'm still going to throw things into water magic for now. I need to get Master Air fast. I'm going to be stuck for a bit. Um, who's got the horseshoes? You do. Okay, was fire magic here? No. I definitely need to go to Tularian Forest. Okay, um, so... So many things I need in Tularian Forest. What was I thinking? Oh, um, body magic, not fire magic. There we go. Body magic, Harmondale. Yes. Okay, I'm going to learn master body magic. So I think that's going to be better than learning Master Leather for the time being. As much as that pains me. And Body 4. Okay. Is 3 points going to do anybody any good? I don't think so, because I think everybody's at 4-3. Yeah. Anyway, now that I've all leveled up while waiting... You're going to heal. See, healing's already doing more than it did at this point of the game before, which is just wrong. Oh, All right, they're here to help me, by the way. It's really hard to keep all of them alive because they like running off and dying for no reason. But I am going to try and take this fort. So these are fortifications that you control. So you can do things like this. Whee! You can tell that they're a little more advanced tech-wise here. So 
let's go down here and try to help. So you have to be very careful about indiscriminately hitting the A button because you might just, you know, kill friendlies, which will decrease your rep, of course. Ugh, so many. Oh, I have somebody unconscious. That's not good. Anything broken? No, that's good. Oh boy. That's now your set spell for now, because I need healing badly. They're obsessed over killing humans. So, like the previous game where there's a chance of, or not a chance, but certain enemies will more frequently target certain types of creatures. In this game, it's not just classes, it's also, you have one hit point. I'm going to run for a bit. Um, it's not just hit point based, or it's not just class based, it's also race based and gender based. Ah, <sighs> anyway. There's nobody controlling these. Why are they still going off? I don't understand. They shouldn't be going off anymore. This is a trap. Oh, I didn't trigger the trap, apparently. Fragment of Soldier's Diary. Can't hold on much longer. The goblins have received assistance from some, some large flying creature. They began falling from the skies soon after we took the fort. I don't think we're going to survive much longer. I'm going to miss my wife and family. Also, another club. This is worthless. Yeah, it is. The club, on the other hand, is not. It does one point less damage. It attacks three times as often. Guess what you're using. Also. I can't fix that. No, but she can. Be nice if you can actually wear your uh -oh. dang. Yeah, that goblin must be just out of range. Me. Yeah, they must be targeting humans because they're not even damaging anybody else in the group. Oops, I triggered the start of the protect everybody. This won't stop me. So basically, you need to protect the fort. It's not really a quest, per se. It's just kind of a thing that happens in this game. I'm not gonna make it. Yes, you are. Shut up. that. There's going to be another wave, I want to say. Yeah, let's not have Wizard Eye go down. That would be bad. Uh, I don't remember what triggers the next wave, though. I'm sure something does. Ow. Yes, I know you're hurt. This won't stop me. This won't stop me. Ow! This won't stop and you're unconscious already. Ow. Seriously, you have the most hit points of the party. Ow. Fine, Sparks. My old friend. This won't stop me. Bring on a bigger challenge. Uh-oh. 
This won't stop me. That was too easy. <sighs> this won't stop me. <laughs> so obnoxious. Spark, sucker. <sighs> okay. Heal again. And you're out of magic. Okay. I should probably go to a temple to heal. By the way, you don't gain any type of reward for doing this at all. It's just pure XP and money. You can really use the money right about now. I'm trying to lure them closer to the... This won't stop me. Ugh. God damn it. I'm trying to lure them closer to here, basically. Okay, I need some healing. Power 4, power 8. Power 8 it is. There, that'll help some. Oh yeah, and the humans give better rewards anyway, so I much prefer. God damn it! See what I mean by the goblins being a lot more annoying in this game? This won't stop me. You know what? Fire or the damn club. for fire aura again. Oh, that worked. Get these two goobers. This won't stop. Oh, that was easy. I'm not the bigger challenge. Stop me. You're dead. I'm not. Ha 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 ha. Hey, you notice that more goblins spawned behind me. Oh no, that's the route to Arathia, I want to say. Okay. I'm not going to worry about that for now. I'm at an hour. I should probably stop shortly. I'm just going to finish up the fort area. Do 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 do. And then I'm going to stop for the day, actually. Um, this way is the giant loot. Not that there's a huge amount of money, just it's a lot better than what I have now. By the way, here's the shrine that was in question. This is the teleporter to the shrine of the or land of the giants. But you have to hit it from the other side first. You pray. That's all it says. That's all it ever says. So, the um, types of enemies in this zone are goblins. I think they're the only enemy in this zone. I can't remember for sure. Unless, of, of course, if you fight guards or what have you. No problem. There we 
go. There. That should do a little better. This won't stop me. Oh, that's right. I know why she's getting hit all the time. Her AC is zero. Ah, oh, just dawned on me. No wonder she's having so many issues. Oh, I went that card. How are you doing on hit point swordsman? Oh, that was easy. There you go, swordsman. You're welcome. Let me go loot your friend. So yeah, there's also summon spells in this game now too, which is pretty sweet. I don't want to go there. I'm just gonna die. So yeah, what's your oh ye Um Stone Skin expired. That explains why I have absolutely no armor whatsoever. This is why you need to wear your plate mail. Anya Solving's still a good art relic. Especially for right now. Okay, this area looks complete, so I'm going to go ahead and stop here. I don't want to get too far ahead. Maybe I'll do one more. I'm kind of in the mood to play a little bit more. I've had a pretty bad weekend so far. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Let's save. And that will be about it. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I know I haven't been able to show any kitties. Um, also, need to think about how to make the music loop a bit, because a little too quiet for me. Goodbye, Internet, and I'll see you next time.